And I quote, there is a significant association between Meniere's disease and thyroid disease. Bringing you updated information on conditions like Meniere's disease is a passion of mine. I've talked extensively about the connection between different autoimmune disorders, thyroid disorders, and inner ear disorders. This new literature, which will be attached to this video in the description, highlights the importance of the thyroid gland, which sits at the base of your Adam's apple, I can point right in this region, and the importance of this gland relative to inner ear disorders. Going back to 2017, Dr. Chiarella highlighted the great importance and overlap of endocrine disorders, such as the thyroid, particularly the thyroid, and vestibular conditions. This article, which I'm attaching tonight, really goes farther. It's a meta-analysis, and it basically confirms that this suspicion of a relationship between thyroid disorders and Meniere's disease is no longer controversial, that there is a definitive connection. Further, as I've talked about in other videos, it's not just your thyroid hormones that are important. The autoimmune attack on the thyroid gland that can result in low thyroid hormones is also extremely important in conditions like vestibular migraines and Meniere's disease. This is also really important as well for those who suffer with BPPV. Just to kind of give you some context, right behind me is an axial section of the brain. I'm gonna zero in now to show you the vestibular nerve in the inner ear. And there you can see the vestibulocochlear nerve coming off the brain stem. And over here we have the inner ear, we have the semicircular canals, so you can see the other side. As I mentioned before, it is the semicircular canals and the cochlea that frequently will swell with Meniere's disease, creating the symptoms. Some scientists think this issue of swelling is really a lack of drainage. Other people feel that it's too much fluid production. There are different etiologies, including viral infections. Dr. Gasek, if I remember correctly, he has a lot of work on viruses. I talk a lot about autoimmune disorders, particularly thyroid disorders, as well as mast cell activation syndrome, which ties in probably as you would know it with allergies and food allergies. The point tonight is that this connection with the thyroid is growing. It's now considered to be definitive, at least by this author who did the meta-analysis. And this gives you topics for conversation with your doctors if you're suffering with Meniere's and you're not improving. Hopefully this information is helpful. I'm Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic physician from Gates Brain Health and Advanced Imaging Reno. If you have a question on your case, you can reach me at gatesbrainhealth.com or email info at gatesbrainhealth.com. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, and share.